Yo, so what is going on guys? It is your G Squid here and welcome to another episode of my Minecraft 100% survival series. This is the series here on Xbox Bad Recognition where I'm going to be doing everything you can possibly think of doing here in survival Minecraft and... This is the series, of course. The main goal for this series is to unlock all 125 achievements that are currently in the game. And 1.21, I think, is going to be coming out because every update nowadays comes out during the summer. So, usually around June, before the end of June. So, uh, 1.21 should be coming out around that time. So, anyways, guys. So, of course, like I said, this is the series where I have to get every single achievement. Then, once I get every achievement, that is pretty much the end of the series. Until they add more achievements. And then I'll come back to the series, of course. So... Last episode, guys, was actually did really, really good for some reason. It uh, it got like over 160 views, I think, which is really good, of course, for this series. So it was called Redstone Engineering, and basically what I did is I unlocked two achievements. Well, first of all, I got mending on my boots right here, which means I now have mending on the helmet, the chest plate, the leggings, and the boots. I do want to get some more, uh, some more enchantments on the leggings, if possible, just because... I mean, the helmet is bay. I mean, look at that helmet, dude. It's insane. And then the boots are also bay because of the feather falling and depth strider. And then the leggings, I wouldn't mind getting, like, thorns, honestly. Although thorns does, I know thorns, of course, breaks your armor quicker. But uh, thorns on the chest plate and the leggings would definitely be decent because I do have unbreaking already on the chest plate, at least. And I have mending on both of them, of course. So as long as I kill things... I'll still get XP, you know, as long as I, I shouldn't say kill things, as long as I get XP, I basically don't have to worry about repairing my armor ever again, so, yeah, that is very, very good, so I finally got mending on every piece of armor, and then I unlocked two achievements last time, which, they should be right here, yep, on a rail, travel by minecart to a point at least 500 meters in a single direction from where you started, that is kind of a rare achievement, and it, uh, that's one that I've been wanting to do for years now, and then Inception, uh, is actually even more of a rare achievement. This actually, like, confused me. Like, that's why the last episode was so long. It would have been, like, five minutes shorter, but I <laughs> I took so long trying to understand this achievement. So, push a piston with a piston, then pull the original piston with that piston. So, yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> it's a very, very interesting. So, that's why I call it Redstone Engineering is because I obviously used powered rails over here for the, uh, the rail, the minecart system, and then I, of course, used, I mean, pistons are one of the most clear obvious redstone blocks or redstone features in the game so let should we take this uh this minecart system oh my dude come on man don't hit the powered rails okay <laughs> Jeez, i gotta i see i gotta sort out the beginning of that system i gotta put like a button there instead and then just like have the powered rail be activated from a button you know so uh yeah anyways though guys this is of course 500 meters in a single direction across the ocean here which is um which is 500 blocks basically each meter is is a block it equates to a block so yeah pretty much this is what i did at, uh, towards the end of last episode the guardians over there i do actually want to go over there today i do want to fight those guardians with axolotls to try to get the healing power of friendship that achievement uh, and I want to do some exploring today, alright, so that's what I want to do today, is I want to do some exploring, because I have a couple achievements I need to do, map room, I would like to start today, I also want to start, or try to finish, sail the seven seas right here, because, yeah, that one, I wish it would tell me what biomes I still need to do, like, I wish it would have a progress bar, like it does for the ones at the top here, but, it is what it is. So, I do actually have a picture pulled up of all seven oceans in the game, or all the ocean biomes. So, yeah, let's see. Well, actually, it's not even seven. It, it, I keep thinking it's seven ocean biomes, but it's actually not. It's set, the achievement's called Sail the Seven Seas, but there's actually, I think there's eight, eight or nine ocean biomes. But, yeah, so this minecart system, of course, just brings me right over here. And then, let's grab the minecart, I guess. I don't know why that broken one hit. Even though a boat takes like five hits with a diamond sword. I don't understand that. But yeah, so we come up here. Of course, I'm going to have to terraform this and actually make it look a lot better. And then I might put like a tunnel or something. I might extend the rail system. We'll have to see. But yeah, so that takes me all the way over here to this birch forest. Which obviously is much quicker than any other method I could possibly use. So yeah, I want to go exploring today like I said. And But first of all, I want to actually... Okay, let me head back over to the... Uh, 
across the ocean here, I guess, back home. Uh, I want to repair my boots because I can't go exploring without my boots being fully repaired or at least a lot better repaired, a lot better durability than, than they are right now because they're about to break, dude. They are about to break. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to trade with some villagers here. I'm going to get a bunch of things gathered up and trade with a bunch of different villagers, maybe even like the shepherds. Might trade some black wool or something with the shepherds. We'll have to see. Uh, and then I think I might be able to trade light blue wool with one of them, but I don't know. So, yeah, I'm going to do a lot of trading, and I'm going to get my boots repaired a little bit, and then I'm going to head off because I want to get some more, if I could get some armor, some smithing, uh, smithing templates, or if I could find some more archaeology areas with suspicious sand and gravel, of course. And, yeah, there's a lot of stuff I got to do still in this series, and obviously I want to do some of these exploring achievements as well. So give me a second, and I'll gather up a bunch of different things to trade with the villagers, guys. All right, guys, so take a good look here at the durability I've got. I'm just going to trade with the farmers real quick, and then I'm going to head back in, uh, I'm gonna head back into my storage room and just get some more items as well to trade with. I want to trade with the clerics because eventually I can trade with the clerics, and I'll be able to trade nether warts for emeralds, which is something I did in the hardcore series, which is really, really good, of course. So let's trade with this guy a little bit, and let's see how much uh, it's already been repaired. Not too much so far, not too much, but here we go. Let's do the wheat trade right here. Obviously an incredible trade. I actually do really need a potato and a beetroot villager for sure. Look at that. Look at that. My boots are already like halfway repaired from that. That is amazing, dude. And then over here, because obviously as you can see, I went from level 3 to 4, so I'm not ranking up very much at all from this because all my levels, all this XP, all these XP orbs are going straight to my boots. So then we got the uh, the carrots right here. I took a bunch of the carrots out of the automatic farm. I just uh, harvested the automatic farm. So there we go. And do you guys think the boots are full durability? Very, very close, dude. Look at that. And all the rest of my armor is back to full. That is crazy, dude. Mending is insane on armor. It's seriously crazy because it's way better to put mending on armor than tools because... It's easier to actually repair them because no matter what XP you get, it automatically goes to all your armor. Whereas if you have, so say like my Silk Touch pickaxe, if I pick up XP but I'm holding my diamond sword, the XP won't go to my, my pickaxe. I have to be holding my pickaxe. So if you forget to hold your item, your your yeah, your your tool that you need to repair, of course, with mending. If you forget to hold it when you're actually picking up XP, then obviously it won't get repaired at all. So anyways, I'm gonna clear up my inventory with this stuff and then get a bunch of uh bunch of other things to trade with here. Oh, I actually forgot. You know what, dude? I could trade with this cleric. I could trade with uh my Trevor, my cleric down here that's been here for the <laughs> since basically the beginning of the series, dude. I could trade with this guy. Um, or I could trade with the cleric that's actually outside. I mean, I should probably trade with the cleric that's right here, you know? That would probably be smarter because he's, he's more ranked up than the other one, you know? Also, guys, this gray cat... Where's he at? This gray cat, I'm gonna finally tame this guy because... Uh, it really doesn't matter which which breed of cats I get, which type of cat I get for this achievement, of course. At this point, I'm just trying to get the achievement done. So... Oh man, you are a greedy little you are a greedy little guy, aren't you? <laughs> but yeah, this cat has been trapped in here because obviously it's completely fenced in. He's been just wandering around here for forever. So uh, yeah, I'm finally gonna be actually getting that guy tamed. So that gets me where for that achievement? Seventy five percent, guys. Seventy five percent, and I think that means I need five more. I think I counted that. Out. I think I need five more cats now. And then I'm 50% complete with that one. That achievement, the trade for a 1,000 emeralds, takes a long time. But these are going to be working on it a little bit right now. So then I just saw there was a white cat on top of one of these houses. But he probably despawned. I would assume. I'm assuming the cat despawned here, dude. Wait, this is mine, right? Yeah, that's my cat. Um, Yeah, I'm not seeing any, not seeing any cats around here. Okay, well, I might as well sleep real quick. Hopefully nobody's in here. Oh, yeah, I still need to decorate all these 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 huts. I've just been so focused on achievements lately, man. But, yeah, I need to actually decorate these huts and then put carpet, put different color carpet in every single one of them and then just decorate it a little bit more. Maybe put some glowstone instead of torches up in here or shroom lights maybe. I did not mean to do that. So, yeah, uh, let's see what I can do here. So, I got some stuff to trade with here. It's a farmer, so... The toolsmith. Oh, I was. I forgot. I, I forgot to get coal. I wanted to get some coal that way because there's a lot of villagers where you can trade coal. So this guy is an apprentice. Should I trade with him or should I trade with Trevor? I should probably trade with Trevor, honestly. But okay, this stonemason. I do actually want to trade with this guy. And I'm not gonna do the normal stone trade. I do. I'm actually gonna do this one. 
even though he's already master rank. Uh, I'm actually going to do the 12 nether quartz for an emerald because that is a pretty dang good trade. Like, that is a pretty nice trade. Wait, this is going to repair my, my pickaxe, actually. I don't want it to repair my pickaxe. I want my armor to be repaired. And then I'll actually switch to the pickaxe once the uh, boots are fully repaired. All right, so there we go. So I'm up to 40 emeralds right there. Both of these villagers are actually fully maxed out. That one's got a terracotta, uh, brown terracotta. This one's got cyan terracotta. Interesting. Well, that one's a, a glazed terracotta block, though. Okay, so let's see here. Wait, did I just see a cat or is it this torch? Nope, that's a torch. Okay, so where is the shepherd at? So the shepherd right here, I want to... So we got a brown shepherd, and then I want to trade with this black shepherd right here. This black wool trade. I do actually need some more black wool for sure. I need to make more of my sheep black. I did just dye one black, but I need more than that for sure. Uh, yeah, because obviously with this trade, I mean, it's a pretty dang good trade. So I'm up to 50 emeralds now, and then what else can I do? Oh, yeah, I got to go down and trade with uh, trade with the cleric, Trevor. Now, I do have this gold. I do actually want to trade this stack and a half pretty much of gold. It's three gold per emerald, so I should be able to get a ton of emeralds from this, dude. A ton of emeralds. And look at that, dude. My armor is all completely fully repaired. Dude, I'm telling you right now, mending is insane. On armor, at least, mending is crazy good, dude. Trevor, you gotta watch out, dude. You gotta watch out. <laughs> Alright, so I guess I'll hold my pickaxe now. That way it can be fully repaired. So, I do actually want to get... I don't know if I want mending on this fortune pickaxe, man. Because I need to repair it, but it's so expensive to repair now, obviously. All right, well, let's do this trade, of course, a little bit. This isn't going to rank me rank him up too much, though. He's a journeyman right now. But this gold trade is going to rank him up like crazy. And this, see, this is why I need a... Well, there's two reasons why I need to get rabbits into my barn. For one, it's this trade for emeralds. Two rabbits, foot, two rabbits feet for emeralds. And then uh, also the butcher I just checked is four raw rabbit for an emerald so i need to do that trade as well because i'd like to rank the butcher up just to see what his trades eventually lead to of course but here we go come on just rank him up fully he's an expert and there we go dude there's the trades i was looking for specifically the nether wart one i mean the bottle of enchanting one is pretty cool because you can actually get bottles of enchanting just infinitely like that but um and then this trade is also really good so I'm going to save up my emeralds, actually, because I am going to be going to the end, I think, in episode 70, all right? Because episode 65, I am going to be fighting the Wither guys, so definitely stay tuned for that. It's going to be in a couple weeks now. It's going to be crazy. Uh, so, yeah, I definitely want to do that. Should I keep trading with him, though? Or should I go trade with... No, yeah, I should probably go trade with uh, with the other, the other cleric, then. Wait, is this a different butcher, actually? No, nope, this is the same butcher. How did he get all... He went all the way over here, dude. Okay, so these villagers, man, they go literally everywhere. I have no clue where they go most of the time, dude. It's just... It's confusing, dude. Okay, so... The cleric should be in here. One of them, at least. I guess I can get rid of these fence gates and everything now. Okay, so here's the cleric. I also need to trade with the cartographer. He's almost master, actually. He's almost master already. So... Ooh, I'm gonna... Okay, I'm gonna need to spend some emeralds here just to get that trade going. And then spend some emeralds to make some emeralds, dude. That's just, you gotta spend money to make money, just like in real life, man. Okay, so here we go. I might as I'm just gonna do as much as I can. There we go, dude. Four scutes for an emerald. Oh yeah, dude. Okay, speaking of scutes, I actually do need to get a turtle farm going ASAP before episode 65, of course, because for to fight the wither, I could get turtle master potions, and turtle master obviously gives you insane resistance. So the wither effect, I think it works on the wither effect. I think the resistance like five or six or four or whatever it is, I think it goes against the wither effect, but I could be wrong about that. Do I already have this cat? If I do, then I don't care because I'm getting it. <laughs> I'm getting this cat. I'm getting every single cat that spawns in now because I want this achievement done and out of the way, man. The plethora of cats. Okay, so here we go, dude. Don't run from me. Don't run from me. All right. Come back to me. Come back to me. This is one of my favorite cat designs in this game with like the emerald green eyes. I love this cat design. Dude, I can't wait until 1.21, bro. I'm actually super excited for that. Like, I gotta be honest, I think I'm more excited about 1.21 than I was about 1.20. I think I am, dude. Like, 1.20 was awesome with the armor trims, the cherry blossom, the bamboo wood that it added, of course, the archaeology finally being added, the sniffer and things like that, of course. But, dude, I gotta be honest with you, man. 1.21 has the trial chambers, the wind charge, the mace, new wolves, wolf armor, which I actually voted for, 
Well, I voted for the armadillo, but it, it, I voted for the armadillo because of wolf armor. Isn't that kind of funny how I voted for a new mob? We all voted for a new mob to be added that just changes an existing mob and makes an existing mob better. <laughs> so the armadillo is going to be like completely forgotten. People are only going to want the armadillo for the wolf armor. That's kind of crazy. But hey, I mean, that's how they that's how they designed it, I guess. So anyways, um, yeah, 1.21 is just it's it's looking good, dude. It's looking really, really good so far. Uh, so what do I need here? Uh, I need to clear up my inventory, and then I think I need to get a move on. I think I finally need to actually go explore the world here a little bit. Like I said, I'm going to save all my emeralds up, and yeah, then we should be good. But yeah, uh, my pickaxe is almost full durability as well, and then obviously my armor is full durability, so that worked out very, very well. Hold on, let's see what I have for this now. I'm at 55%. Yeah, dude, it's crazy. That This is probably going to be one of the last achievements I unlock. I think I've said that before, but... Because it just takes such it just takes such a long time, you know? By the way, this plethora of cats is actually a rare achievement, it says. Only point less than 1% of gamers have actually unlocked that. But, all right, here we go, guys. Let me clear my inventory, and I will see you in a second. Oh, hold on. There's another cat that just spawned up here, guys. <laughs> uh, I came back over here because I'm trying to find the gray cat. I just put the black cat next to all the other cats, but I'm trying to find the gray cat. Like, he's not teleporting to me did I make him sit down already because I didn't put him in the house did I because if I did I do not remember putting him in the house already so all right let's get this cat right here oh there's two up here oh yeah this this is the white one I found earlier that I was talking about I don't think it's the same one though I think it's just a new one spawned but all right here we go dude look at one eye is blue one eye is yellow that's a pretty cool uh pretty cool design right there okay no don't run for me dude just because I turned just because I turned dude dude we might get this achievement done today hold on I'm at 85% complete. Okay, I don't think I'm going to be able to finish it today. I could if I actually wanted to and just sat here the whole time, of course, and just waited for cats to spawn on the rooftops. But Because for some reason, they only spawn on the rooftops, as you guys have uh, probably gotten used to it by this <laughs> by this point in the series. But, yeah, and they always spawn, like, on these same rooftops over here. Never over on those ones or over there. It's just, it's so weird, dude. I, it's just because I designed this village. Like, it, it's a floating village. It's weird, dude. So the spawns are all messed up, but anyways, um, so yeah, I am 90% complete with this achievement now, right? Yep, 90%. So now it's actually the top achievement that I'm closest to, so that is beautiful, dude. Alright, so I'm not going to do any more cats right now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get out the brush because, yeah, I want to go find some ocean ruins and stuff like that. Oh, you know what? I need to put a saddle. You know what? I'm going to put two saddles, actually, in my inner chest. Just for the future, just for, like, striders, most most importantly, for striders and then uh, the nether, of course. But saddles are always useful to have. Alright, guys, so I'm here on the Minecraft wiki, and I'm looking at all the ocean biomes, alright? So, the ocean biomes that are in the game that I have to explore for this achievement are the warm ocean, lukewarm, deep lukewarm, ocean, it's literally just called ocean, deep ocean, Cold ocean, deep cold ocean, frozen ocean, and deep frozen ocean. So, um, the warm ocean looks like the desert. The ocean is just a normal ocean. Lukewarm is a little bit lighter color. Cold is a little bit darker, and frozen is very dark blue. It's almost purple. So, here's the thing. Um, I'm very confused with this achievement because this achievement, again, I wish it would just tell me the progress that I've already made on it, but... The Sail the Seven Seas achievement, I don't know if it is telling me that I need to go to the deep, because, okay, this, I think, is a normal ocean. It looks like the normal color blue, I think this is a normal ocean. However, the deep ocean is also a different biome. It's classified as a different biome to this normal ocean right here, and that goes that goes the same for every single other ocean that I just, went, that I just named off. So, uh, yeah, I think I have to explore technically the normal part of an ocean and the deep part of an ocean for this achievement i'm pretty sure that's what i have to do and i don't know if that means i have to actually go to the the ocean floor basically for this achievement to count i literally have zero clue Is, are those my sea pickles from before doing that achievement they are too dude um oh, i want to do that axolotl achievement but I don't know. I might do that axe level achievement. It depends. It depends. I'm going to explore the world. I'm going to explore for like an hour. I've been recording for like 30 minutes so far. 32 minutes probably. So, 
I'm just going to explore a little bit, but you wouldn't think I'd have to actually get out of the boat. You'd think that I'd just be able to explore the ocean pretty much while in a boat, but yeah, this is a normal ocean. With gravel under it, this is a normal ocean biome. So, I'm going to head off in this direction, I guess. Uh, and then every single time I find ocean ruins, I'm going to go actually get my brush out. Ooh, my brush durability, though. Ah, oh, I really hope my brush doesn't break, but it probably is gonna, dude. What do you need for a new brush? I know you need copper, which I don't have any copper on me at, at any time because uh, it's copper, you know. <laughs> but uh, what else do you need for copper or for, for a brush, though, besides copper? A stick and then something else. Is it a piece of wool or... No, I don't think it's a piece of wool. Okay, this is a different ocean biome. As you can see, the water is definitely different here. So let me go down to the to the ocean floor, I guess. Oh, we have a... um. Yep, we got some suspicious sand here, right here, man. Yeah, I'm just going to try. Is this wheat or is this... What is this? A wooden hoe at, ooh, at full durability. You know what? That's actually not that bad. <laughs> Usually when you pick something like that up, they're, they're almost broken, you know? But... All right, see, I'm just going to go around here. I love doing this archaeology thing, dude. Uh, but, yeah, I need... I, so, I can get... The best thing I can get from these suspicious sand blocks are sniffer eggs. All right? I need a sniffer egg, of course. That way, I can actually grow a sniffer, pretty much, because I need to get that achievement where I need to plant a sniffer seed, I think it is. It's, I think is what it is. Look at this. We've got another emerald right here. Beautiful, dude. I'm going to dr start drowning in a second. I think this is a pottery sherd. I still have no clue why they're called sherds and not shards. Which one is that, actually? Snort? I don't know if I had that one already. All right, my respiration obviously is helping me out a ton for this. My respiration three, but I'm still drowning, of course. Still got to go back up, dude. Yeah, there are a lot of ocean ruins right here. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure these are the warm ocean ruins. I'm pretty sure... I mean, they have to be, right? Just because of the color of the water. So, I'm going to keep going around here and just uh, doing this. Just keep brushing away at the suspicious sand. And then if I find something, if I get something good, obviously, out of this, then I'll, I'll keep recording. Is this a piece of coal? Sure is, dude. All right, yeah. So, I'm going to just cut it here until I actually find something, something meaningful. Ooh, we got a chest, actually, with a stone axe in it. Huh? Have I looted this chest already? I have no clue, dude. Okay, this might be the last suspicious sand that I actually am going to get around here. There might be more, but uh, yeah, as you can see, there's probably going to be some that I miss here. Oh, boy. Quickly, quickly, quickly brush it, man. Quickly brush it. Drowning kills you quickly. Armor does not matter for drowning. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, we're good. My goodness, dude. So, yeah, this is what I've got. Look at this. Four wooden hoes. Uh, and then I've got... Oh, I've, wow. I'm getting the same ones, dude. Angler... And Snort are the only ones I got. I only got one Emerald as well. So, okay. I Unless I see another piece of sus sus suspicious sand. It's very hard to say that quickly. Unless I see another piece of... Uh, unless I see another piece of suspicious sand. <laughs> I'm just going to get the heck out of here, dude. Where's my boat at? Did I leave my boat or did I pick it up? Yep, I left it. Okay, so yeah. I'm going to be heading off to a new direction here. Uh, so, we know I've explored. Okay, so let me look ex exactly and see what biome this is. What ocean biome this is, dude. Which one is this? I think this is the lukewarm ocean. I think, because it's not a warm ocean, so it must be lukewarm and then deep lukewarm. I'm pretty sure I need warm ocean biomes to be able to find sniffer eggs. I'm pretty sure you can only find them in sniffer, or er, in uh, warm ocean biomes. So, like, coral reefs, basically. Uh, in ocean ruins and coral reefs, basically. And obviously, I do have a coral reef over here by the desert. So let me head over there real quick. Okay, guys. Anytime now, the color of the water should be changing because I'm starting to enter the coral reef over here by the desert. So it should turn to a much lighter blue over here. I'm hoping. Uh, I think I can already see it from here, actually. Way over there by the shore. But once I get over this coral, it should be changed. Yep. I think it just changed. A little bit. I'm pretty sure it did. Yeah, this is definitely a lighter a lighter color. So this should be the warm ocean. I mean, we're next to a desert and a coral reef, so it should be the warm ocean. Wait, it just changed again, though. You see that? It just got darker. Hmm. So... 
I'm going to keep going over in this direction. And hopefully I can find some ocean ruins over here, of course, because I'd love to get the sniffer egg today. But I don't think I'm going to be able to do the Sail the Seven Seas achievement today because I need ocean biomes. All right. Or not ocean biomes because I need uh, the frozen ocean biomes. And the, f the actual snow biome is extremely far from here. Like I could go there again, but it hasn't been. It's only been like two weeks since I was last there. So I really don't want to go back there already you know this soon but i might i don't know i'll keep heading off into this direction and we'll see we'll see what happens but yeah because i definitely the 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 frozen biomes are definitely the ones that i'm missing for that achievement because i haven't really like when i actually went there you know the last couple of you know four episodes ago or whatever to get to that woodland mansion i didn't really actually go into the ocean i just stayed on land and traveled on land the whole time so that is definitely why i don't have that achievement already we got a giant ruined nether portal here underwater with a ton of magma blocks my goodness dude gotta be careful here let me grab this gold block i guess and let's see what we got here in the chest this actually looks crazy we got a clock so you can get enchanted gold okay i'm gonna start going to these a lot oh no no Dude, I couldn't break him in time because he was in the way. Oh, rest in peace to that dolphin, man. That was sad. Just, the, the magma blocks are vicious, man. Okay, so, yeah, anyways, uh, I can't believe that. An enchanted golden apple. I am definitely saving that, obviously. I'm saving all my enchanted golden apples for either achievements or the wither. I actually need to waste an enchanted golden apple on a, uh, a banner, like, for using it as a stencil, like an enchanted golden apple stencil. I think it uses up the enchanted golden apple. I'm assuming it does. But the reason I'm grabbing this obsidian is because I'm actually close to the mangrove swamp. So I would like to actually try to get some frog lights here. Try it a little bit. I probably won't be able to get the, I guarantee I won't be able to get all three of them today. But, um, dude, where are you at? No, like, actually, where is this freak at? Throwing tridents at me. Um, my goodness, dude, he's just hiding down here. Seriously, dude, drowned are so annoying in this game. And on Bedrock Edition, they're way worse because you have to deal with the, uh, you have to deal with them having tridents like 50% of the time. It's disgusting, dude. So also, little pro tip right there, guys. If you use the magma blocks, the bubbles that, that they have, if you just sit on a magma block and you can crouch, obviously, that way they don't actually deal damage to you, or if you have a uh, frost walker, they won't kill you. So, uh, what you can do is you can just stand on them, and then, of course, come on, man, you can just stand on them, and then they'll give all your bubbles back, your, uh, your, your breath bubbles, of course, so you won't, you won't drown. So, little pro tip for you right there, but yeah, I'm just gonna grab a little bit of obsidian. It takes forever when you're not standing still like this. It takes, wow, that takes way too long, dude absolutely way too long also guys i did actually look up a video i watched a video on how to get all the armor trims in this game because i've got i don't even know how many i've got maybe like six or something uh i know i, I know i have the one from the bastion the fortress the pillager outpost the mansion the um I've got the netherite upgrade, but that one doesn't really count, count as an armor trim, of course. But I think I've got maybe like one or two more besides those ones. But I don't know. Maybe that could be it. But anyways, I looked up and apparently there's two that you need to get. I think there's silence and ward are the ones you need to get from the ancient city, which I have not found an ancient city yet. And by the way, guys, for this achievement down here, I do need both of those. So, okay, I've already got snout, rib... And Vex, Tide, apparently you can get from killing Elder Guardians, so I need to do more Ocean Monuments. Wayfinder, I think you get from... Oh, yeah, and then I did get... Yeah, I did get one from uh, from Archaeology in the, uh, the one Trail Ruin or whatever. Wayfinder is also in that one. I might have already gotten that one, though, from that. Spire... Spire is actually from the End. Yep, Spire is from the End. I think the End City. And then there's one that spawns in the Stronghold. And then, like I said, Ward and Silent spawn in the Ancient City. So I really, really need to find an Ancient City. Apparently, Ancient Cities can only spawn under um, under mountain biomes. Uh, they said in that video. So 
That's interesting. And then I do also need the wild one. The wild armor trim spawns in jungle temples, which I have not found one yet. There's also, I think it's called Dune, the Dune armor trim, which is only found in desert temples, which I've looted a couple desert temples in this series, but I still have not. I haven't found that at all. And then I don't even know the rest of them. Hold on. Can I check what the rest of them are real quick just to see which ones I'm missing? Armor trims right here. Let's see. Coast. Oh, yeah. Coast is found in shipwrecks. And then Sentry, I already have that one. That's from the Woodland, uh, or the, the Pillager Outpost. So then, hold on, let's just see here. Craftable, nope, let's not go craftable. Let's go all. And then, where are the armor trims at, dude? They should all be in a group together. What do you need for hanging signs, by the way? Chains? Okay, I guess it makes sense. Okay, I've never used a, I've never used a hanging sign before. So, all right, which one have I not talked about? Host is found, is found in the... I actually, I think there's four of these that are found in the trail ruins, so I think I've got one of the four. Yep, Razor, Shaper, Wayfinder, and Host are all found in the trail ruins. Dune, like I said, is Desert Temple, and then am I missing any? I think, nope, I think that's it. Eye is the one that's found in the Stronghold. Snout I've already got, of course, that's from the Piglin Bastion, so... Yeah, it's interesting, and then a decorated pot, I need to get that for an achievement as well, so, yeah, I think I know how to get all the armor trims now, which is great, but I need to find, like, a jungle temple, and then obviously more desert temples, so that's why I'm exploring the world right now, dude. I might not get an achievement today, just because I'm trying to just explore the world and trying to just, like, there's so many achievements that I have on my mind that I need to do, but most of them involve animals, I have to say, most of them do involve animals from, like, the newer updates, of course, so... Yeah, it's going gonna, it's gonna to take some time for sure. It's going to take some, some time to get these achievements. Speaking of achievements, hold on a second, guys. Hold on. Let me actually craft some carpet right here. And let me try to do this caravan achievement for, with donkeys. Hold on. So what I need is... I need Or not donkeys, llamas, my bad. Uh, <clears throat> so I need a lead a caravan containing at least five llamas. Wow, that was quick, dude. That was quick. So then if I put this on... Uh... How do I... I can't control it. Do I have... Yeah, I was wondering how you... So, I have the carpet on, but I can't control this guy. Why is that? And I thought all you needed to do was just tame one, and then all the nearby llamas would follow you. But, apparently... Wait, hold on. I know you can put... Do you need to put a chest? Because I know you can put a chest on them as well. Where's my wood? Why do I not have it? I don't understand why I don't have wood. Why I just have all my wood in the ender chest, dude. Okay, so here's what I need to do. I need to make a chest and just see how this works here, dude. Where is this llama going? Get back here, dude. Okay, so there we go. I still can't control him. And you can't put a saddle on. You can put items in, in the three slots right there. But why can't I control this guy now? Um... I'm going to try the lead. No, because that just connects to him. Hold on, I need to sleep real quick. Okay, guys, so I just looked it up, and yep, you cannot ride llamas. They're only good for actually storing items. However, you can put a lead on them, and then when you put a lead on, apparently that's how you actually activate the caravan feature where llamas nearby will actually follow them. Oh, wait, come on. Go behind that... Come on, dude. I, I, I absolutely hate using leads in this game. I have to say, just because they break. It's just so annoying, dude. Okay, I think it's... Okay, these guys are in a caravan together now. They're following each other. Good, good, good. Or the ones following the one that's in front, of course. So, what is that, actually? Is that a village right there? What the heck is that? That's that thing built out of uh, acacia. So, I need more llamas, dude. I need more llamas than this. <laughs> and this isn't good because this is the end of the savannah biome, dude. I need to go back up. Yep, this is definitely a village right here. I figured it was a village because there's there's nothing else that would even from that would even look like that that would even spawn with that, of course, with these blocks. So, uh, where's some more llamas at? Is that a llama down there? Nope, that's an iron golem. <laughs> uh, you can see how I'd get easily mistaken, dude. Okay, so these guys are following each other. I don't want to go too quick though, especially not up blocks quickly because the lead will break. It's very, very annoying, but the lead will definitely break. So, 
This is a pretty fun achievement. However, I need to get more llamas. Like I said, I need at least five. You need to lead a caravan containing at least five llamas. And dude, there needs to be a sound. Why is there not a sound for when the lead breaks in this game? Like a loud like whip sound or something. Not like a whip sound, but just a loud like breaking sound. Like or something, you know? Just because it's so annoying how the lead just breaks and you don't even know it, you know? You don't even know the lead breaks sometimes, man. But yeah, it's so annoying going up blocks with leads, but... Okay, I guess I'll head over there to that kind of like flatter savanna biome because I'm pretty sure llamas only spawn in savanna biomes, guys. So I'm just going to go around here because I'd love to get this achievement out of the way today. Okay, guys, finally found another one. I've been literally traveling for, it seems like, 10 minutes or something. But okay, this one should be added to the caravan. Yep, there we go. Okay, just follow that guy. Okay, there we go. So I got three, so I need at least two more. I'm going to try to go for six. But, uh, man, it took way too long to find that third one, dude. Way too long. Okay, guys. Didn't take nearly as long to find this one. Okay, I've still got all three. And then we got a brown one. Finally got a different color llama. Are these all the exact same? Um, I think they are because if I take the – because this one's got carpet on, so it looks a little bit different, obviously. But I think they're all the same. I think there's four different types of llamas, but here we go, dude. Got this brown one. This brown one should run. Yep, I love how they run so quickly. Like, they just follow along right there. It is a pretty cool feature, definitely. But llamas aren't very practical compared to other... I mean, because basically what they're for is, like, containing items, of course. That's why you can put the chest in. That They're basically for, like, transporting items. But I don't see why you wouldn't just use a donkey instead. You know? Because a donkey's so much quicker. And you don't need to worry about having you know like you can actually control the donkey you can ride the donkey of course whereas the llamas you have to use a lead oh yes here we go we got the we got another one here we got another brown one here so this is going to be number five so i should get the achievement once this one actually joins in the uh the caravan here i kind of want one more though dude i'm not gonna lie i kind of want one more because uh i don't know if i said that already but uh i read that you can you can have a, a caravan of up to nine of llamas here of course but so the achievement should pop up soon, as long as the lead doesn't break off here. Um, this is crazy. There we go, dude. So I got that going for me. <laughs> Leader caravan containing at least five llamas. I'm glad I got that achievement out of the way. So we at least got one achievement to so far today. I'm still probably going to play for another, like, 40 minutes or something like that. So we should, uh, might be able to get one more. We'll see. I'd like to find, like, an armor trim today, or obviously... Just a new structure or whatever. Oh, wait. We got another llama. Dude. Did you just see that? I'm pretty sure that's happened to me already a couple times today when doing this achievement. Where the, I've seen... I swear I see llamas and then they literally just disappear as they get closer to them. It's so dang annoying, dude, how they just despawn like that. But... Alright, yeah. I'm, should I even... I mean, I already got the achievement. I really don't need to waste any more time doing this. And trying to find another llama. Um... I'll try to find one more. I don't know why, but sure. I'll, I'll try to find one more around here. Oh, here we go. Finally. I don't know why I'm only finding two types of llamas. Because, like I said, I'm pretty sure there's four different types. But here we go, dude. We just need this guy to join right here. And then I'm going to let these llamas off, dude. And then they're probably all going to despawn. Except for the one that I have the carpet on, obviously. Dude, why is this one not actually following? Do I have to go out straight and then he'll, he'll follow behind, probably? I'm assuming. Um, oh, yep, there he goes. <laughs> as soon as they speed up and then they run towards the back of the line, that's how you know they, they're part of the caravan. So, yeah, interesting achievement, interesting feature as well. This is probably the most I've ever used llamas ever since they were first added. But, um, yeah, so I don't know if I'll ever use llamas again in this series. There's no real use to them other than that. I mean, it is cool because, I mean, the llama that I had that I put the chest on has three slots that you can that you can put items in, of course. But apparently they can have up to nine. Apparently it's random, kind of like horses. Like horses, like their speed and jump and their health and everything is random. Uh, apparently llamas are like that, too, where the, uh, the amount of items, the amount of slots that they can carry, basically, that changes. But, oh, wait, is this a warm ocean? Hold on. I might be able to find... I might still be able to find the sniffer egg or something today. Might be able to find some some ruins over here, but I doubt it since it's in the middle of a desert, you know? Hold on a second, dude. No way. This is where I actually got that llama achievement is in this cave? That's where I'm at? Huh. 
Yeah, you guys remember this cave. I've been to this cave quite a few times over here in the Mesa biome. Interesting. Oh, look at this, guys. It's a it's a des it's a desert well. Remember when these were completely useless back in the day, but now they actually have a little bit of a use because they have this one block of suspicious sand, you know? What did I get? Arms up pottery shard. I definitely did not have that one. I do not remember hearing that that name before, but all right, so I guess I'll just head through the desert, of course. I've been to this desert many, many times in this mesa biome. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to go all the way across it. And I'm going to try to explore the jungle biome because there is a massive jungle biome that I explored. I don't even know what episode it was. It Was it 54 maybe? It was, it was before I went to the Woodland Mansion, I think. It had to have been. But, uh, I don't know, uh, but there's a massive jungle biome over here that I want to explore just to see if I can actually find a jungle temple, because I still, I haven't found a single one in this entire series, which is crazy, because there's been a lot of jungle biomes in this world. Oh my goodness, guys. Is that what I think it is? Is that a jungle temple over there? That has to be. This is the, I, I literally, the jungle is so confusing. Am I the only one that hates how the jungle biomes have so much bamboo now? Like, it's literally like you can't find a jungle biome without tons of bamboo in it. It makes, somehow they made the jungles even more, like, just like, what's the word I'm looking for? Just cluttered. There we go. They made the jungles somehow even more cluttered and hard to maneuver around than they than they ever were, dude. But finally got a jungle temple. I'm going to be so sad, though, if this doesn't have the armor trim because... This jungle temple is weirdly generated, like it's literally <laughs> in the water next to the jungle, but it's on the very edge of the jungle. Well, I guess it's technically not. I don't think jungle temples can spawn in those jungle biomes, though. I think they're called sparse jungles, but... Wait a second. You're telling me that I didn't pick up the gold block that I found earlier in the other ruined nether portal? You gotta be kidding me, dude. Okay, come on, another golden... Uh, no, I, was, I didn't even say it, dude. I can't speak today, but I was about to say another enchanted golden apple would have been amazing, dude. This is almost a full set of gold armor, too. It's not bad, either. So, uh, I can't believe you can actually get enchanted golden apples from the ruined nether portals, though. I did not know that. I was wondering that back when I was, like, going across the world for the Woodland Mansion, I found a ton of ruined nether portals, of course, but... By the way, guys, let me just say, I might actually... I set off some tripwire hook traps in this because I haven't been in a jungle temple in an extremely, extremely long time, dude. Like I said, this is the first one I found in this series. I didn't find any in the hardcore world. It's been years since I last did a jungle temple, man. So, okay, I'm not seeing any tripwire hooks. Oh, yeah, I forgot. You need to actually... Oh, yeah, the tripwire hooks are over here, aren't they? Yeah. There's a uh, dispenser right there, of course. The tripwire hook is right there. Wow, that's actually low to the ground. Dang, dude. Should I actually set it off? Because it's not going to hit me. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, let me just break this, I guess. Okay, now it shouldn't be set off anymore. There we go. Okay, so here's the chest. Is there a tripwire hook to this chest? There is. What happens? Oh, it's probably just arrows, huh? Yeah, it's just arrows in there. It would make more sense if they were poison arrows, I guess, but... Okay, so I have, okay, Thorns 2 and Unbreaking 3. That's actually good because I can put that on the pants like I wanted. Uh, pants were the, well, yeah, it would be the pants because I already have Unbreaking on the chest plate, so I couldn't do that. So that's actually a pretty good book right there. I guess I'll take the Rotten Flesh. Of course, there's a piece of bamboo in there. And then for the other one, there should be one more chest in here, which I have no clue the order you actually put this down in. I literally have no clue, dude. And where does it even open at? Hold on. Um, I think it's nighttime, isn't it? Yep, it is definitely nighttime. Hold on, let me sleep real quick. Yeah, you can tell I do not know jungle temples, bro. It has been a very, very long time. Yep, monsters nearby. Of course. Of course there are monsters nearby, dude. There's a baby zombie out here running around. Where are you at, dude? Where are you at? Right here, dude. Little helmet he's got on. Okay, now I should be able to sleep, hopefully. Okay, so that activates a piston. Hold on. Is it on the other side? Is it over here that's opening up? Because what I don't know what even opens up is the thing. I could just break the wall, but I kind of want to figure this out. Because I think it's the same puzzle each time. So the piston... Hold on. So let me open both of those up. And then 
Yeah, I don't think it's back here that opens up. I'm going to just break it, dude. I'm going to just break through it. Because what does this one do, though, is the question. Whatever, I'll just put these ones, these two down, and then just break through right here. So what do you need for this? Wait a second, does the middle one even do anything? I have no clue, dude. But there we go, the wild armor trim. There's two of them. So yeah, I did actually hear in the video that I watched, of course, with all the armor trims, uh, I did see that um, apparently the wild armor trim is almost guaranteed in every single jungle temple, which is nice, of course, because like I said... This is the only jungle temple I've found in this world, man. So let me put some stuff in my inner chest. But yeah, so that is good, dude. We got an achievement so far today. And we've got a new armor trim and a bunch of pottery shards as well. And a really good enchanted book and an enchanted golden apple. So honestly, it's been a pretty successful uh, ex exploration trip today, man. All right, I've been recording for about an hour and 40 minutes. So what I think I'm going to do is I think I'm going to keep heading off into this direction a little bit more. See if I can find anything anything of substance pretty much and uh then i think i'm just gonna head back home and end it pretty soon here got another ruined nether portal right here which i'm not seeing a gold block so hopefully i haven't already done this one i don't think i have i don't think i've ever been in this part of the world uh i got some more obsidian and nope i have definitely not done this one because we've got two gold blocks right there dude so yeah i'm gonna have to start actually doing these ruined nether portals every single time i see them now even like the underwater ones Simply because, man, like, I, I didn't know you could actually get enchanted golden apples. Ooh, look at this. We got three gold blocks, dude. Three gold blocks from this one. Uh, but, yeah, the fact that you can get enchanted golden apples in the chest here, are, it, that, that's amazing, dude. Like, that is amazing. Did not know that, man. But I've been wondering that since, like, the beginning of the series, man. So there's an azalea tree here, which means that there's a lush cave underneath it. But where's a good cave entrance? Where is a good entrance to this cave? Honestly, right here seems like a pretty good entrance. Should be able to find something. Wow, look at all this rooted dirt. I didn't know this. there was that much rooted dirt in this. Uh, so hold on. Where can I enter this cave? Because I'm not going to lie, the only place you can find axolotls, I'm pretty sure, are the lush caves. So... I need to actually explore a lush cave. I do. I'll probably go to the one next to my house, though, if I can't find an entrance to this one. But, uh, yeah, I would like to get that, that healing power of friendship achievement out of the way as well today. That way I can say I've got two achievements done today, of course. <laughs> I just found the buried treasure that I... that I, I think I came from that direction, actually. Oh, there's another azalea tree right there. I think it all just connects to the same lush cave. But I think I'm just going to go back to the one near, near, uh, near base. But, yeah, so... I guess I'll take this other lead, and then I think I'm actually going to take the water-breathing potion as well, just because I, I have the inventory space right now. Okay, yep, I have already done this desert temple. Okay, yep, this is the one I, I've done recently, right? Actually, no, wasn't the one I did recently, wasn't it, like, flooded at the front right here or something? I can't remember. Have I actually done the suspicious sand here, though? I don't think I have. Nope, I haven't. Okay, I might as well uh, start digging and try to find some more um, some more useful things right here. we got an emerald right here. Yeah, because you can actually find diamonds in the Desert Temple Suspicious Sand, so it's actually kind of kind of worth doing, I feel like. Hold on, this isn't my Desert Village, the one that I'm used to. This is a different one. I think I've already been here, but let's check this Desert Temple, because... Wait! No way. Th if, okay, if this is a new Desert Temple, dude, this is actually... We'll be in business, dude. We will be in business, because if I could get the Dune... If I could get that, um, that Dune armor trim today... That'd be incredible. I guess I'll keep the rooted dirt since I don't have any. Let's just see what I can get from this real quick. All right, guys. Well, here goes nothing. Let's see. Oh, no. Wait. Wait a second. I have been down there. Yeah, I definitely have been down there. But how, then? Oh, because I built out of this. But then... Oh, yeah, because I broke out of that block. Dang, dude. So, yeah, I have been down here. Well, dang, dude. I was going to say, like, there's no way I actually missed a desert temple around this desert. Because I've already been around here, yeah. So, I already took the TNT from this, of course, as well. So, unfortunately, no dune armor trim today. Um, Yeah, so I have to find, like, a completely new desert biome, I think, to actually get that armor trim. Because I've already, like, completely explored this desert, I'm pretty sure, in, in terms of the, the desert temples around it, at least. But, alright, time to head back home, and 
I don't know if I'm going to get that achievement today. We'll see. We'll see. I, we'll see how I feel once I actually get back home. Keep in mind, though, guys, once I actually do get the Elytra from the end, it's going to be so much easier to actually explore the world and find all these structures that I need, like shipwrecks, desert temples, you know, um, pretty much anything. It's going to be so much easier to explore the world, of course. So, like I said, episode 70, I will be going to the end, so I need to actually prepare Right after I fight the Wither, I'm going to take a couple episodes, probably like two episodes, to, to set up the beacon and everything like that as much as I can. And then I'm actually going to just get right into trying to find the Stronghold, obviously, and then just getting ready to fight the Ender Dragon. Alright, guys. Home sweet home. Beautiful. Look at the dolphins following me over here. So, yeah. Uh, overall, definitely a pretty successful episode. What did I get here? Two Archer, four Snort, one Miner, and then one or two Angler. Pottery Shards right there. Or Shurd. Again, I don't know why they're called Shurd. By the way, I did get this Copper Ingot, actually, when I did the, the giant Ruined Nether Portal that I found the Enchanted Golden Apple in. I actually got a, uh, a Copper Ingot from a Drown, which is pretty good. I forgot that you could actually get them from Drown. So, what do you actually need for a brush? Because I'm going to need to make another brush in the future pretty soon. Now that I'm actually starting to use this one more. so Or use the entire feature more. So, where is the brush? Here it is. You need a feather. Okay, yeah, so I can get that on the way. Just, yeah, I can just easily take out a chicken for that. So, let me clear my inventory here. I'm not going to go for that achievement with the axolotl today. I think I'm going to save that for next episode and have, like, an ocean-themed episode next time where I do the, um, I want to do the, like I said, the healing power of friendship. I, oh, yeah, I need to start this map room one. I wanted to start that one today. But, yeah, I could do that one with the, uh, with the axolotl. I could try to do this ocean biomes one. I could try to go back to the, um, the snow biome for an episode and then head right back after that i could try to do this one as well because that's water themed and then what else is water themed obviously you know trying to get the sniffer egg from look at that only 0.18 percent of people have look at this one 0.06 percent of people that's like barely anybody that's gotten that achievement that is crazy dude that is insane all right so yeah let me clear my inventory and then i'm gonna end it pretty soon here Alright, anyways though guys, that is going to be it for episode 61 here of Minecraft 100%. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Today was a pretty successful ex uh, exploration episode. I was able to get a new armor trim right here. So now I've got, again, I've got the netherite upgrade. I've got snout, rib, sentry, three vex ones, which is pretty crazy. One wayfinder and then two wild ones, of course. And keep in mind, as long as I've got at least one, as long as you've got at least one of these armor trims... All you need is one, and then you can basically have an infinite amount as long as you've got diamonds, because of course you can come over to the crafting table, and then you can use diamonds to duplicate the armor trims. So if we go to the crafting recipes right here, obviously as you can see, each one requires a different block in the middle pretty much, and then obviously you have to use the armor trim, and then it makes two. So you use one armor trim to make two more with obviously seven diamonds and then a block in the middle of course corresponding to each armor trim basically so yeah i still got a lot of armor trims to go the three i need to get i need to get three more from the trail ruins so i need to actually figure out how to find those more efficiently uh because i've only found one but those have a ton of suspicious sand and gravel in them uh so yeah i need to do a lot more archaeology in this series and exploring of course for the 1.20 stuff 1.19 and 20 i should say 1.18 19 and 20 is more is more like it but anyway Anyways, hope you guys did enjoy it. I will see you all in. I just want to upload the series twice a week, of course, on Sundays and Wednesdays. So next episode will be out on Wednesday, the 17th. So definitely stay tuned. Like I said, episode 65 is going to be crazy. I'm going to be fighting the Wither in that one. And hopefully I prevail. I did get Enchanted Golden Apple today, so that's going to help out a lot. I might try to get Turtles next time as well. Uh, and then I might go... Try to find the rest of those, try to explore the rest of those oceans and get the axolotl achievement. But yeah, we got one achievement today. We got the, so that, so I got that going for me. <laughs> Lead a caravan containing at least five llamas. So I'm good. I'm glad I got that one out of the way, of course. But anyways, hope you guys did enjoy it. Like I said, next episode will be out on Wednesday. Definitely stay tuned. Anyways, have a good day, guys. And peace out.